So that leads to, uh, on a happier note, um, what might happen if the Democrats win the House? Besides none of what we just mentioned. <laughs> well, I mean, for one, maybe we wouldn't, like, nobody can take their foot off the gas, but right. maybe we wouldn't have to watch the news quite so much. I mean, That'd just nice. like a little bit less. No, more news. More yeah. news? Double more news. news. <laughs> I mean, on, on foreign policy specifically, which is the thing I like to make you guys listen to me talk about, um, <laughs> we could have, if we, if we take the House, we could have real oversight hearings about Trump's policies. We could hold a hearing where we talk about Jared's financial interests in places like Saudi Arabia. Wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, I, would, I would watch the shit out of that. Uh, we could have a vote. We could have a vote on whether to cut off arms sales to Saudi Arabia because they are in the middle of a, a, a civil war in Yemen that is the most horrific thing you could possibly imagine. We got. 47 votes the last time. If we win some seats, we could, we could actually make this happen. Yeah. We could pass a new authorization for the use of military force. We are still waging wars, Barack Obama included, by the way, based on a vote that happened after 9-11 in 2001. We're fighting in Syria based on a, a fucking vote in 2001. It doesn't make any sense. We could do a lot of thoughtful, reasonable things if we just take the House. Yeah. Yeah. Also, his Trump's legislative agenda, if we take the House, is dead. Yeah. It is over. Dead. There, is, there will be no wall. There will be no repeal of the Affordable Care Act. There will be no cuts to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. All of those things will be off the table if Democrats win the House. Pre-existing conditions. Pre-existing conditions. Yeah. I mean... You know, when, when the fact of Trump and this capitulating Republican Congress has felt too big to me and a bit overwhelming, I've kind of always tried to divide it in my mind into three things. Institutions, policy, culture. What is the damage they're doing? Um, to Tommy's point, on institutions, we can have hearings, right? That, that is how we can reverse some of the, the, the tide of this sort of sense in which there's no political gravity for Donald Trump. We Oversight. Can, okay. we, can, we can have him, he's like the coyote, and, in, and, in, and this time he won't make it across the cliff to eat the fucking <laughs> roadrunner, he'll fall. Uh, we can do oversight on corruption, we can get his tax returns. Uh, on policy, we can do exactly what John's saying, we can stomp things, we'll also have a seat at the table. If they want something to pass through Congress, they will need the Speaker of the House, a Democrat, uh, to, to get the caucus behind it. That, that, is, that is real power, right, Where, in which we can do some real good uh, uh, to, to have a government that advocates for, for actual human beings. But the final piece of this is the culture. And, you know, it's the hardest thing to talk about because it's all around us. But I, I feel like for a lot of people, it's been, had this frenetic pace over the last two years. Like, things have been really hard. You know, the news has been really hard. Not just, it's really destructive and hurting a lot of people. But for all of us, I feel like we're going through something and, and it's been really painful and it's been really dark. And part of the reason it's dark, it's not just that Donald Trump is president, it's that it feels like the rules don't apply to him, that there's, that somehow all the things we thought had to make sense, that if a president just breaks the law and does a White House propaganda video, someone will say something. Yeah. That, 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 that. Or assaults women. Yeah, or assaults women. Or, or, or delivers racial diatribes from the, from the White House lawn that there would be consequences. And in part of the reason it feels like there's no consequences, it feels like the majority of this country doesn't have a voice. You know, we voted for someone else and they're not there. We elect, we vote uh, uh, for our candidates, but we're gerrymandered out of a chance to have our say. All of this pain and all of this paying attention will have meant something. It will have been worth something. We will have gotten some power for it. We will have taken all of this anger and angst and we will have turned it into votes and taken our country back, which is exactly what we need to do going into 2020 to say, you know what? This machine may be throwing off sparks and may be pretty fucked up, but the gears still turn and we can still put gas in it and we can still make it go forward. And I think that, that, that alone <laughs> will be really fucking important. I would have loved a hybrid in that metaphor, but it was really good. Well, no, this um, is, it's a plug-in hybrid. Uh, <laughs> the engine kicks in just to get you up to highway speed. And then you're cruising, and then you're cruising. And by the way, then you're not even touching the wheel. <laughs> what were you saying, John? You know, uh, so, as you drive it, it just drives itself he's, to he's, a sex party at his house. He's just doing his part. He's got a whole thing. Should I Keep stop? Keep going. <laughs> no, no. You do um, you. News. So obviously <laughs> we focused a lot, the news is focused a lot on Congress. Um, what might happen, Dan, if Democrats take back some of these governor's mansions, state legislatures? This is the most undercovered story of this election. Because mm -hmm. we're rightly concerned about the House, we're rightly concerned about the Senate, because we've seen the consequences of not having those. But here, there are three things that will happen if we win governorships and state legislatures, particularly in these really important battleground states, Florida, Ohio, Wisconsin, Iowa, Michigan, et cetera. 
is, so the first one is, this is, these are the governors and state legislatures who will do, who will be in charge of redistricting after the 2020 census. And that's important because that'll ensure that we will not be living under partisan gerrymandering that means that we, even in years in which we get more votes, we don't take the House. So we, that, that's important. Second, I think the most important thing is these Democratic governors and Democratic legislatures will be able to put in place progressive policies. Mm -hmm. expand, expand Medicaid so more people get health care. Higher minimum wage. Pass laws to protect women's rights to choose on the, on the, in case the Kavanaugh court overturns Roe versus Wade. Very important things that will affect people's lives in really important ways. Where even in, in ideal scenarios, we have Democratic Congress and a Republican president for the next two years. We're not going to get the progressive policies we want, but we might get them at the state level. And the third one, which is very, very important, is these, govern, these Democratic governors can make these states more Democratic, small d. Right? So we can undo the voter suppression laws, like the voter ID law in Wisconsin. <clears throat> we can put in place automatic voter registration. We can put in place same-day registration. We increase the number of early vote, vote by mail. And that is good for democracy, but it's also good for Democrats because we win when more people get the opportunity to vote. And so that is going to be, that will have an impact for years to come. Yeah. And also, if they win, more people will run again. Right. I mean, people that will see true. that running, you can run and win, and like obviously not everybody's going to win. But if we have some <laughs> good successes, people will be like, well, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring too. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, and we also shouldn't overlook the fact that there are ballot measures in states all across the yeah. country that could have a huge impact on people's lives. Um, Medicaid expansion is on the ballot in some very red states. We have minimum wage measures, criminal justice reform, police reform, protections for LGBTQ communities, restoring voting rights to people who've been formerly incarcerated in Florida, um, redistricting, anti-gerrymandering ballot measures. So those are happening all across the huge. country. We vote for those ballot measures. That's going to change people's lives too, which is a very yeah. big deal. Um, what is the, what do you guys think the closing argument that Democrats should be making? I think it is so important that Democrats raise the stakes. We have to tell people that this is their moment. This is their moment to have political power in this country. This is their chance to stand up to the racism, to the lies, to the policies that benefit corporations over regular people. You can, you can have that political power if you stand up. If you think that Trump should be able to do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants without consequences, don't vote. If you think that this country can be better than Trump, you got to vote Democrat. But um, I would hope that if Democrats could do one thing, it would just be like, if anyone who's running against a Republican incumbent, just show their health care votes. Like, yeah. just right. because right now everyone's like, oh no, like, I'm for the affordable, I'm for pre existing conditions. No, you're not. You haven't been since the beginning of time. And they're getting away with it right now. Yeah. And so I really need, I need everyone to just point that out. And I also think that one of the advantages Democrats have in Republicans closing this campaign on fear and anger and division and hatred is for Democrats, and this works if you're in a blue state, this works if you're in a red state too, is to say, look at all that, we need change. Mm -hmm. This is a change election, and if you want that shit to end and you don't want two more years of what you're seeing from their side, vote for us, because it's the only way we're gonna change this. Yeah.